Labour firebrand Laura Peacock has impressed Mr Corbyn with verbal attacks on Conservative MPs, declaring she viewed female Tories as an enemy to a lot of women and refused to befriend them. Now on Friday, Ms. P. D. Cock was promoted as the party's shadow minister for Labour, just more than half a year since she was elected to Parliament for the first time, signalling Mr Corbyn's appetite for a hard-left candidate to success him as party leader. Labour Party insiders hailed Ms. P. Cock, 30, as the new chosen one, as members groomed her to take over from Mr Corbyn, should he choose to stand down before the next election, scheduled to take place in 2022, the source added that Mr Corbyn may quit if the right candidate can secure his legacy. Twitter pal Labour MP Laura Peacock is tipped to replace Jeremy Corbyn as Labour Party leader Laura Peacock is the new chosen one a member of the Shadow Cabinet a member of the Shadow Cabinet told the Sunday Times Jeremy's people have gone off Rebecca Long Bailey. That's why they're promoting P. D. Cock. SHE's the new chosen one. SHE's getting a lot of support from the leader's office and they're promoting her on social media. On a Labour blog, the MP for North West Durham declared she would not hang out with Conservative women. Because they are no friends of mine, she claimed that there are two basic types of Tory, and that she wouldn't be friends with either of them. Get a Laura Peacock was hailed as the new chosen one, she wrote. My very, very initial reflections are that there are two basic types of Tory. You've got the ones who are so blinded by their own privilege and have never experienced hardship that they genuinely seem unable to see what it's like in our communities if they see someone in tears from the sheer weight of everything. That's being piled on top of them. The reaction is, oh, you're being very dramatic. The other type is completely ideologically driven. They seem genuinely to believe capitalism is the best way to improve society and it blinds them to the evidence under the nose. She added, whatever type they are, I have absolutely no intention of being friends with any of them. Pimley Thornbury was also tipped to be next party leader with 61 odds. The idea that they're not the enemy is simply delusional when you see the effect they have on people. Labour's shadow foreign secretary, Emily Thornbury, had been heavily tipped to replace Mr Corbyn, but some in the party fear Mrs Thornbury, a barrister representing the North London seat of Islington South and Finsbury, will not appeal to traditional voters in the North. Also predicted to take over from Mr Corbyn is Labour's Shadow Education Secretary, Angela Rayner, but has fallen out of favour after describing the party's economic plans for big increases in state spending as a high-risk shit or bus strategy. Ms P. D. Cock is currently placed at 1001 to be next leader of the Labour Party on Ladbrick spurting, with Mrs Thornbury tabled at 61 and Ms Rayner at 101.